So well, in the old fashioned way, in the old days, they plug from both sides uh, with the horses eventually. Actually, they plug uh, from both sides of the line out the soil and then they went with uh, half automatic tools. Uh, they went around the plant and they dig a bit. They dig, but eventually those days we are not doing any more like that so <laughs> yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad about it's, that. it's quite oh fine God. yeah <laughs> uh, just some small one which we replanted we go around and we nicely dig yeah peace <laughs> So now we're here in the Malvesia, that's our new vineyard, what is three, four years old. Matteo did a great job the last couple of few days, he was plucking wildly all our vineyards. So in our Malvesia vineyard we were plucking um, twice at first with our new machine. What will be a video coming up soon, how making up of the new machine. <laughs> um, at first he was uh, plucking um, beside of the blends the soil went over it and um, covering all the wheat what it's growing there and afterwards he was plucking the middle part between the lines. Um, just again a short explanation why we actually binding up um, the blends on here is possibility to bind it up on the iron. Um, or you bind it up on the wooden post. Um, it's just like that um, the blends, the vines is growing up straight and not like um, going widely left or on the right side because later if you block or go through the machines and it's nice straight up and doesn't is in the way and um, it's less danger that the blends get kind of damaged or something like that. Second time. So Hello guys, peace and love. <laughs> so we are again uh, in Malvasia, we are doing the last job before, before the energy of the spring will came out from the plant. And we are at Malvasia, we are wiring the plant and that's the last job we are doing, uh, the last major job we are doing before the, the came out. So we are picking up this wood, which we cut um, in the winter time and we go nicely nicely down nicely down and we go nicely around the major wire and then in the end we zip with this beautiful machine like this of course with organic uh, wire so it's not a plastic yeah usually we prefer a bit uh, cloudy weather so the wood it's a bit more flexible to put around but it's all right we are doing a bit slower and it's fine yeah okay because we got the new post so um, we have to bind up the blends again on the post um, um, just um, that they stay flexible and usually um, we go around with this one a little bit higher on this spot where the bench goes out here twice around and put a knot on it here I have a ring it's not my marriage ring no <laughs> it's a little cutting ring Voila! That's done. And going up again and going to the next one. Good fitness training also. 
I personally love it to work in the vineyard by the sea. Uh, it has shorter lines, so you don't have to walk like a marathon to come to the end of the line. Well, it has more lines, and also because you have this beautiful view to the Vipara Valley. So, to take a break, rest your mind a little bit, you just look over the valley and feel a little bit of peace. Hey guys, um, today we are bottle the bottles. Um, unfortunately, we don't have this amazing machine after filling up the bottle that it goes automatically through the machine and puts the etiquettes on the bottles. No, we're doing it with our hands. I will show you how we're doing it. And um, we did already one part. Now we do a second time. We do it step by step. And yeah, just see how it goes <laughs> and have a little bit of impression of it. Here our bottles um, with the labels, the only thing the cover still has to get on it, that I'll show you later. Here are the bottles without labels and here our amazing um, bottling machine. Yeah, that's it actually. We take an unlabeled bottle, put it here. And actually we have it in already in position, we it was through everything, that's everything in position, where the label has to be, it can be more here, it can be more down, it depends how you like it. Well, we decide we want to have a little bit uh, more up on the bottle, and then you just roll the label on the bottle to check if it's here on the same level. Voila! That's it. Yeah, that's how it goes, bottle to bottle, every bottle needs a label. So we have um, Kultus White, we have a bottle uh, label for it, then we have the Kultus Elaine, it's a more greenish label, and then we have the Kultus Red, what I'm going to do later, I can show you. It's actually the same concept, just another label. And you have to prepare the machine with the label rules before. Yeah. And um, we are actually label our bottles um, step by step at the moment because the cells are of course reduced, like everybody has to suffer of thanks to Corona. Um, but we, well, I can thank in this moment to every customer who supports us. We appreciate every bottle what is sell, sold. Thank you very much, guys. We really appreciate it. And, um, we will serve you with good vino also and thanks for that and yeah we have to stay positive and keep going so the next step um, we have here the covers of, with the nice label colors on it we have it in different colors ones in red ones in golden and in future also a green for saline so far we just have the black one um it goes like this actually every bottle gets one cover. Yeah, and to um, fixing the covers on the bottles, we have here this machine. It's not a hair dryer. It looks like fun, but uh, it makes hot air. Well, hot hair. It's inside. It has some rings. The heating up. You can see later if it's getting red. And you just put it over the top of the bottle. The cover gets hot, melting on the bottles and so the bottles will get sealed. Easy principle. Just work. <laughs> so. That's the way you switch it on and wait a couple of minutes. So now you can see on my little wing how the hot rings what I was talking before about it. So don't put your finger in you're gonna have a spare rib later. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Uh, now and you can see the covers are loose on it, loose on the bottles. And if I put one, two seconds 
Oh, okay. That's a good example how it's not supposed to be. That is the master is doing it. Okay, and uh, that's it. That's how it's supposed to be look. Well, except of this one. I think I make a special edition out of that. That's really special. I keep it in the degustation room. When I ever watch the video, I will come here, yeah, I will serve in this bottle. It has a nice little hat, isn't it? Cool. <laughs> so, now every bottle comes in a box, a little wipe. In, in, wipe, wipe. So um, this year we make a little experiment for ourselves. Um, we are blending um, onion and um, garlic. <laughs> so we blended garlic 50 kilo and I think onion was at 100 kilo. It's supposed to be a lot coming out but we will see how is the end result. Uh, like I said it's an experiment and we improvise a lot because we actually don't have the right ma machinery for it. So we will see. Today we were like um, plucking between um, the garlic so that the weed is not growing up so much. Um, you can see in the follow videos what we have done. Yeah, and then you, we will see in the next time uh, what will come out. <laughs> A little preparation to fix the machine in the right position so we don't destroy the little blends by plugging. By the way, I'm doing this the first time. I have no idea what's going about to happen. So here you can see the little garlic blends what already popped up. Uh, they're quite sweet. So far they look healthy, nice greenish. Here we go. Here you can see one seed, actually one little garlic. Um, that's how it looked when you are blending it. This one didn't make it, it stayed on the surface. And this one went in and popped out so far. And we were blocking, now you can see the soil is nice freshly brown and here you can see uh, the blocked uh, garlic here all the stuff all this white roots here 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 that's good it's blocked otherwise it will grow madly and uh, it will cover everything here you can see here this little wheat here the roots all showed up now i can try yeah that's it Let's see. So here on this side we have, we blended the onion. We're gonna wait a little bit with plucking because um, they didn't really show up yet, unfortunately. And um, I are here, you can see one little one. Hello, little fella, where are you? Here, there, one showed up. It's too small to pluck because it will just cover the whole little blend and we don't know if this will be a good idea. Bye-bye!